All right, so welcome everybody. Today, we're going to be doing race analysis. And uh, who is with me today? Ferenc Jonas, a very good runner from Hungary, a very title runner with a golden medal, medal from EOC, with several medals from JWOC, and uh, a guy who is pretending, or not pretending, I don't know if it's the right word, but it's trying to get into the top elite in the men's elite class currently. And uh, he's definitely getting a lot of progress with every single year. So uh, hopefully all the good races, all the best races are still ahead of you, Ferry. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, thank you very much for the introduction also. Welcome, um, everyone. Yeah, and today we, uh, as I said, we're going to analyze the long race from the last World Cup that took place in Czech Republic. Quite interesting maps, quite interesting, not so typical terrains um, that were given to the runners during this World Cup races, both on middle and the long distance. So I think this might be quite interesting for many people. Now, maybe a bad thing about this is that there aren't that many mistakes during that race. So this was a pretty solid performance, but we will still try to compare the legs uh, with other good runners to figure out because some of the things that are interesting regarding this race is that there are lots of different route choices and uh, some of them are not that obvious when it comes to you know what you expect of them and what the actual result of, of the route choice is so hopefully this is going to be interesting all right very um you can yep. start with uh, with uh, with your analysis and i will butt in whenever i feel necessary all right um then uh, I will just, uh, you know, put control by control uh, and let's just go through them. Mm -hmm. um, first control, um, I just, yeah, taken the map. Well, it was quite some time to to check from the from the uh, time start to the start triangle. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, could see all the uh, at the beginning already that I will just go through here. I will not go around. There's no point, and it would be just a waste of uh, distance and uh, time too. So, yeah, I've got the plan. Um, we'll come up to this uh, plateau. I don't know. Maybe it's better to see. It's quite easy. Just had to keep the compass on and basically check uh, the control description. How uh, the control will be placed compared to the compared to the cliff, but it was on the top, so it was easy to see. Yeah, yeah. It was actually at the top of the of the rock wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, cool. I, I, yeah, we, we talked about uh, about this earlier, and I said that uh, Czechs actually like to do that. It's, there, there aren't many places where people do that to place controls at the top of the rock wall, but I did encounter it several times in Czech Republic, and I like it. Yeah, um, and also the <laughs> the terrains are just so beautiful, and uh, because yeah. the cliffs are really high, some of the sandstones formations, uh, it allows, you know, the these such uh, placements because you can be uh, horizontally uh, only a couple of meters away from the control in the meantime it's like maybe five meters above you are like yeah uh, yeah exactly so, yeah um second control uh i could i just uh when i was approaching first control I knew already okay i would just run down in the volley then uh, continue on the road and so it's like not a not a hard control at all for sure um and what I think was a little bit, uh, which, which was slowing me actually down quite much, that uh, of course there was this time to check ahead, uh, the next uh, route choice to the third control. Mm -hmm. And um, I was checking ahead and trying to figure something out. I, I could see the different options, but I just uh, kept hes hesitating around, okay, which one I will take. When I, when I got to the second control, I just, I already had a plan that I will just come back down to the road up in the volley and kind of from here either like coming uh, over through these rocks and just basically going straight or we'll come up to the road and uh, go around as uh, i can remember uh, Kasper did um yeah so but when i got to the control i will i immediately just uh skipped it okay i will rather just uh continue because the forest is nice easily runnable uh, i will just not go back so I uh, continued, uh, I will actually put the full one on. Um, 
yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm the orange one here. So yeah, I was just uh, coming to the forest, and when I, I went, uh, came up, I still actually thought that I'm going to run around the whole one, the whole mm -hmm. uh, rest of the leg. But instead, I just decided it's not worth it probably uh, because it's just too long and uh, they're like not that big of a heels or uh, climbs uh, in between me and the control. So I was just changing the plan again and uh, ran down to the volley. Here, I was just lost a little of focus and I don't even know. I think I was, here I was still a little hesitant if I should like go around this or go up. So this leg was a whole mess by, you know, if you just roll through the GPS track, it might doesn't look that there were like such issues. But I would say that I lost like just in this area uh, and the down of the volley, like maybe 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. So I was like running, then going back and then coming up. Uh, it was not ideal at all. And uh, on, we can see it on the speed is that uh, I that actually not that much, uh, which is interesting. Uh, but I would say that uh, quite quite much time uh, was spent and lost here uh, down in this volley. But also, you know, all the time when I was coming and checking the map, trying to decide what to do, and at the last possible time, I changed the tactic again. So, what, what would you have done differently if you were were able to run it again? Yeah. Um, well, it would be either that uh, uh, either of the the upcoming two. One, I when I'm running to the second control, um, I'm being more um, decisive. Like, okay, this is A, B, C options. I will just choose this so seems the best, either because of the climbs or the runnability or the length. So have a tactic like uh, based upon some uh, real facts, and uh, by that just choosing A or B or C, and then commit to it. Uh, basically, I think that this could uh, help also boost my pace uh like not checking that much of the map actually without the result because they haven't got a proper uh, plan for the for the leg um and also i would just not ever watch the, the map again to decide okay some other micro choices because i have a firm plan and and i can commit to it yeah yeah I think that going around actually had uh, several benefits, right? So even if time-wise, it's, um, let's say, maybe comparable if you execute the climb perfectly without uh, without any hiccups. Uh, but if you uh, run on the road, you have more time to look at the map. So you can focus a little bit more on the upcoming longer route choices. And we have several of them during this course. So that there were there were places to think about. Uh, maybe not control number four, maybe not five, right? Because these are short and not very very challenging in terms of root choices. But then we can see that two number six, you already have another root choice, two number eight, another root choice, two number nine, another root choice, right? So uh, this time could have been used um, probably a little bit better rather than making sure that you're hitting the control perfectly because you're leaving the road earlier and you have to be more focused on executing the current leg rather than looking forward. Yes, definitely. definitely. Yeah, you especially know, I mean, since it's the beginning of the race, right? So you don't have it all figured out yet. And this this route choice gave you that opportunity. Or would have would have uh, gave it in my case. Yeah, I mean, gave gave you an opportunity if you would have chosen the the yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the original plan, the, the original plan, which yes, was good, yes. which was good. Yeah, I feel a little that, you know, um, I kind of choosing the root choices uh, by feeling feeling of, by feelings and uh, not by the facts of like the meters and how I will perform on it. And also in this case, just really missed, missed up on the fact that uh, if I allow me to have this long road running, it's like, uh, I think the whole leg is just uh, more easier. It's just easier to, uh, to figure out and uh, yeah, we would have much more time to to check the rest of the course, which would already also help because we will see that already to the sixth control, I will be having some uh, issues with the leg. Okay, and if you look at this um, last part of the of this leg, so getting off the road, getting through the mountains, getting to the control number three. Uh, if you, if you look at it now, like with without running, without any pressure, do you feel like the root choice of going through rather than going around 
made sense and let's put aside the things that you you had time to read them up like in terms of speed do you have any system that allows you to measure whether going through and getting more um more climb in this case uh, actually makes sense and how do you how do you try to compare it in your head yeah um well unfortunately i don't really have a working uh, system for this like i haven't uh, mm, haven't noted uh, any of my uh, uphill downhill or around runs uh, in terms of leg either orienteering legs or generally just making tests uh, on a random hill uh, knowing what, what distance is around and i run around and also i go up full speed and let's see uh, what can i get so i don't have these uh, yet so again root choices for me i just look at it okay this looks a little longer but uh of course it's more runnable um and i i tend to either stay in the forest also because uh i prone to make and lose a little the contact and the focus if i have like longer physical parts uh i kind of find it fun to switch it back uh, to final orienteering when it needs to be so um I might uh, also have this in my subconscious when rather just okay stay in the forest stay in the flow stay in the focus rather than uh, rather than kind of kind of getting getting out from the longer road run uh, so that uh, so that I can uh, gain some time okay interesting and can you disable the tracks for now like hide them so that we can see just the map you can just click somewhere else uh yeah and um are, are you able to quickly tell how much climb did you have to make after leaving the road to get to the control yeah i'd say around like 30 or so like i haven't counted but with 30 numbers, meters it would, yes like 10 uh, 24 sure i came down here next to this rock so it's like 10 more yeah, like to the control, it's uh, 35, I would say. And again, here I don't know if when I uh, arrived down here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I lost, never mind. So when I got down to the Wally, uh, mm -hmm. if I should just have kept running on the road mm -hmm. and then up here, or this was uh, um, I know, a reasonable option to, to come up here and down. Yeah. So to be able to figure that out, you need to kind of know how many meters doesn't make sense for you to add to the run compared to the climb that you have to make otherwise. Right. And that's a different ratio for everyone. So this is something that just needs to be tested. And um, if you are able to test it, then on, on some parts of longer legs, you will be able to more or less figure out that okay if i have to do 30 30 meters of a climb over here and looking at the distance from the line i estimate that if i don't do it i will probably have to run an additional 300 meters and then the question mark is does it make sense or not right of course this is not the only thing that decides whether the route choice makes sense because there are other aspects like runnability rocks green green forest right um paths or no paths and so on the the approach to the control matters too how easy it is to approach the controls to the attack point um but uh, but in general the, you should always start with doesn't make sense to add ad additional climb compared to the run around because most of the time run around will be good runnability that's how it usually is it's usually a road it's usually mm -hmm. uh, some some nice forest that you can that you can use instead of going straight through some either hills or or greenery right so that's the that's the thing you should be starting with and then if you have this one figured out and you know okay 30 meters of climb compared to 300 meters of additional running i think the climb makes sense then uh, you can start looking at other things uh, that uh, that i also mentioned like attack point and stuff right yep so yeah right. um a little bit <laughs> I'm not a little bit like uh, pretty much so like uh, no tactic, no strategy. Um, kind of just try trying to run by. Yeah, it also it also looks like going around was a better choice. 
like uh, looking at the at the tracks no not not from the yeah, left okay. not from the left but from the right even when you went into the valley oh yeah uh, yeah, then, yeah, yeah then going around probably was a, a better one yeah i was really 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 slow uh down here in the valley actually yeah, I could, it, it, it might be because of the mistake that you made down there it might be because of this uh, because the climb isn't really that big over there so going around the road didn't save you too much uh but yeah this this one this one looks like it was a little bit faster but maybe that's because of the mistake that you've made yeah mm, moving on yeah moving on let's see of control yeah um I, yeah i don't know like if uh only really did something here or it's just the issue of the gps or whatever um it was nothing, nothing uh, major. I just checked the control description first, uh, what I should see when I'm going, and uh, I just went down and tried to keep under the the rocks. I found that it's uh, usually a little bit uh, easier to run really close to them, because mm -hmm. um, there are these like little terrace-like uh, uh, ground features, and so you can use them. And uh, yeah, I was just going got the wally. Got the rocks here, climbed up, and there was the control. So there was no no issue with this one. At all. all right, easy. Next then, one actually gave a small route choice opportunity, right? Yeah, and actually, I think it was also Albin. Yeah, I think yeah, Florian Howard had an also really, really good uh, time on this one. No, then well, yeah. Yeah, and he went through so here is like clearly uh like let's say micro root choice mm -hmm. uh compared to the the bigger legs but uh, on this one uh it's it's a major and he it's it appears that if you got the right plan you got the, the right replacement of the control and uh, you executed it well then for sure this was uh the best to just go through it yeah will... it, lo it looks like like you were already a little bit higher up on the rocks you didn't start at the bottom right so uh, if yeah, you yeah, just yeah. climbed a little bit up you didn't have to um, add so much distance compared to going around from the right side yeah, but here, here are some more uh, analysis like uh, going not that much around and a little bit more straight and uh, shift actually Thomas he went even more down here I I guess I'm guessing he like surrounded the rock, maybe not. I think. I well, I don't know. I, I, he probably went from the bottom, from the right side, but it's hard to say yeah. from the GPS. Yeah. Yeah, but um, it's pretty amazing actually how much uh, difference can be on such short leg. Uh, right. Exactly. But like compared to your your leg, which is also executed well, just a different good choice. It's like more than uh, 30 seconds of the difference. Yeah. Um, fifth control? Oh, no. Is it the sixth one? Right. Sixth one. Sixth one, long one. Yeah. Um, okay. I will just take a few out and I look for myself. I know that I must have got a lot of time on this one. No, it's yep. Mm, I know that uh, Tomas went from. No, he also went this way. Okay. Yeah. Um... But I will first, sorry, I will just put uh, first all and let's see what the variants are. Yeah, no. You here still? Yes, yes. I'm watching. Okay. Then and the sounds uh, like uh, we are. Okay. There was some, there was some lagging, some massive lagging there. Okay. Oh, Mihai. Yeah, my teammate making a, some sort of a mistake here. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So my, where, where am I? Actually, I will just put it as well. I, 
I wouldn't have thought about the the one that is all the way up top from the left. Wow. Uh, you mean this this one? In there, even higher. Oh in yeah, Italy. this one. Uh... No, no. I mean higher, higher on the oh, screen. Oh, higher. One. Okay, I meant in uh, <laughs> altitude. <laughs> yeah. So I wouldn't have figured this one. Wow. Um, yeah. So basically, when I got to the fifth control, uh, I was actually just checking how I will get to the fifth. So I had no plan uh, to the to the sixth one. Mm -hmm. I guess it's also because I was not using uh, the times before I uh, could check the legs ahead. Yeah. So so yeah, I had no clue. Uh, I knew that okay, I will not come to not run to down to this uh, wally. So I just I was running up and checking what I would do. And here uh, actually it doesn't show shows sorry on my GPS uh, track, but I actually you know I started to go in here. Mm -hmm. uh because i just misread actually the the hills the here and the, like yeah. The, yeah the contours so i thought that okay there will be no no big uh, steep climb and then i realized that yay yeah, there is so uh yeah, it was here actually so i just felt okay uh here here so you can see a little uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay i will just not go through and uh, okay let's just go on the road and just give myself even more time to figure out how to do and basically, my running, my, my pace is just was so limited uh, because I was still checking for a route choice for a leg, how to approach the control. Um, that when I was here at the, at this road, I could I was still thinking about yeah maybe I should go left or maybe I should go up and and then, um, but I okay last second I decide okay not to go there just continue on the road. And here I was again thinking if I could, if I should like go kind of straight up and then uh, down through the through the um, uh, spur, or just run around as the others did. And again, I was here. Okay, I felt like it seems easily runnable. I will just take this one. So again, really my really just lack of uh, planning and uh, and checking ahead. Uh, no root choice strategy it's i think this is really uh my my weakest point point and uh, aspect of my orienteering so how, do, how do you feel about this decision to not go all the way around but to cross was it a good one um i would say so because again if we would just compare the distance and actually i think actually we can compare it um i ran 344 meters it shows yeah and let's take someone others 400 340 so basically like 10 meters difference seven meters difference 10 meters difference so basically <laughs> what's happening here is that i basically ran the same distance but i had to climb up and yep. then i had to go down again exactly and, and also there was just they could run more on the road and then in the volley, and in the meantime, not much. Of course, I could, I should just uh, check the check the compass and also keep this uh, open volley on my right, uh, stuck to it, so I uh, not get down on the wrong spur, or wrong volley, uh, down from this big one. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, it needed some orienteering and checking the compass. In the meantime, they could just really run on the linear objects and like features guiding them basically to the control exactly exactly my feelings as well so i think that going around was the right decision because it was simply easier and probably also faster in this case yeah. because yeah. less climbing yes um so again like i don't have the don't have the plan at the fifth control then i think that i will go through because uh, at this uh, it was this this point so here i still think that okay i might go through then I decided not to. Then going around. Then here I again make a, making a decision not to go into the forest because I can, even though my my running pace was not fast, but uh, it's probably still just uh, worth it for me to stay on the road. And then here again making a making a good choice, uh, like okay, go through or go around, and I choose the wrong one. So basically, what I see and what I feel the big big issue here is that. Um, I didn't have a concrete concrete plan at the fifth control. Uh, what will I do? Why will I do it? How I will execute it? 
And because of this, like each time then there was like a possibility for micro root choice in the leg itself. Um, I, again, was facing another like issue or like uh, something which I had to be uh, given a solution for by me, whom I was still not thinking about it because I was like either just running or if I was checking, where should I go? I was still hesitant and uh, didn't have didn't have the answers until the last moment. Exactly. So, An interesting fact, I think, is that the bottom root choices, the one you, you know, took a few steps towards, but then abandoned it, it didn't look like it's terrible as well. So Bonnick, for example, 734, it's not bad at all, right? Yes, indeed. Actually, um, compared to the fastest guy, it's a pretty good split as well. Yeah, um, it could have worked out, sorry. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not saying it's better because obviously, again, the road gives you the, an opportunity to read the map forward uh, and you probably don't get it as much uh, during uh, while going down as Bonnick did. But uh, one way or another, it's it's a you know decently good pick as well. Not the best one, but not a huge mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, um, you know, again, what we were discussing that chance or like options a b c you check it okay how to how to apply how to how to orient your by it attack points etc and then just go with it and uh because i felt like really i could have just push a far better pace on the road if i if i was uh if i wouldn't have still uh thinking about okay how i will execute or what what will i even do in the rest of the leg yeah i was just continuously thinking on this one instead of already having the plan and just yeah. Yeah. lack of plan lack of confidence kills the pace that's just how it is right so yes. you can't push as hard as you could if you don't feel confident in your plan and uh, executing it yeah so that that was it uh, maybe moving to the seventh which was like yeah let's ignore two, seventh two, let's move two, to eighth because seven was eight, nothing eight, to talk eight, about really this thing again yeah, so what we see here again is that basically I would say that it's like rather three different uh, routes, so like three and a half. Uh, the one which, uh, for example, uh, GM, LHGM did uh, came back down to the road and run around. I think uh, Tomas uh, also did the same. Got to see his name there. But uh, yeah, and uh, this was a really good one, uh, I feel, again, because uh, it was not much worse than let's see for example uh, isaac went up and then down again it also causes a lot of road, road running but um it's not as smooth of course to run on a like a track and a path uh, in the forest than just uh, pushing the pace on the on the asphalt um so basically between these two i couldn't really decide uh which is better um also the the third and a half i i say it like this because uh i feel that basically here you have to cross this the first volley somehow so uh that's what differs them to either like going up or down uh, out to the road and here i'd say that it's like a kind of micro root choice in the root choice to either to go down have this find this little track which i was actually trying to do uh, and then just follow the contours here around the volley and then getting to the control or yep. uh, not not actually waste maybe waste of climb oh, maybe it's not waste because you will you would put uh, like give it down anyway here um either way uh i think if you go from this way well, how matthias uh executed it is the best because Basically, there was no really point to come down here. The runability was just as good on the side. Um, so it could have just, again, followed the contours and then coming down. Sure. Although, I think, I don't know if, like, uh, Jakob Lang's time is, um, it's, like, this bad because of the, because of this, maybe, I don't know if it's a mistake in the beginning, uh, or this one that he just tried to go down. By the cliff and didn't find the right way and then was just had to come back and maybe disclosed disclosed that much uh, time was here but i don't know 
uh, either way, I feel that uh, it's like if proper if proper properly executed, then both of the three can go. But in terms of uh, the opportunity to uh, rest a little bit your mind, probably uh, also a little bit, it's just easier to run on the asphalt. And again, uh, that's just the best spot to again check ahead uh, for your for the rest of the course. So yeah. Um, one, one, one thing I want, or, or maybe a couple of things I want to say over here. So first of all, uh, the route choice along the asphalt, um, very interesting, but looking at the time, it's still 20 seconds worse than Isaac's, for example, right? So I, I'm not sure <laughs> how they compare with their running speed. So maybe this is because Isaac is simply faster, uh, but it's still 20 seconds over here, Probably, even if Isaac is faster, probably not as much, although who knows. Um, but uh, going through the path that goes on the top of the hill, this seemed like a really decent route choice. And of course, you have to add a little bit of the climb to the leg, but it's not that far from the line. You get the path for the majority of the leg then. And the approach to the control is pretty easy as well. You, you know exactly where, when to leave the path and how to attack the control. Uh, going along the, along the contour, like um, Matthias did. This is an interesting one as well, but at, at, I felt like uh, just looking at the, at, the, at the leg without the tracks, I felt like this one carries risks with it, right? Because you do not know how the green areas will look like. You don't know if you will find the right place to get off the rocks. Uh, so it felt a tiny bit risky to me. And that's why, in terms of time, it's probably comparable, uh, as we can see, to the, to the path that goes on top of the hill. Because probably the runability was worse, and there were some things that were just slowing you down. So even though you were theoretically closer to the line, and uh, not theoretically, but practically closer to the line, and also doing less contours, you were actually moving forward with a similar pace as people that just went up, right? So I feel like if somebody felt pretty strong in their in their climbing, then they should have gone just through the top of the hill. Yeah. I didn't realize that there, there is a route choice along the asphalt uh, until you showed me. So that's an interesting one as well. Looks a tiny bit slower. Is it Thomas Krivda 415 over there? Yeah, I just uh, switched cool. it because I, I knew yeah. that he had a good time on it. So yeah, yeah. So that that actually shows that it's it's probably the best one in this case because with all, all the runners and then uh, yeah like uh it, it it appears so that like at least for him you know he had the fast legs to run around so it was good yeah um but uh, yeah. it lo it looks like it's at least comparable right with the top yeah, one yeah. if not better yeah amazing amazing um, unfortunately, the one that you took right from the, from the right side wasn't uh, wasn't the best, definitely, right? Yeah. Although, yeah, yeah. If, if you look at Casper, for example, it looks like he was able to execute it a lot faster, right? He, he yes. was like, yeah. what, one minute and 20 seconds faster than you on a very similar route choice. Yes, yes, yes. Why yes, do you yes. think that happened? <laughs> um, well, again, at the seventh control, uh, I... I was checking when I was like coming up how I will go, um, but again when I got there I still was unsure which one to take, and I just felt like uh, it's it's never that bad to like uh, you know kind of go straight. Uh, maybe that's the that's the way how you can just minimize the the distance you cover mm -hmm. uh, to stay definitely close. Definitely, like run along so, the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, usually when I don't have a firm plan ahead, then I just start going because it cannot be that bad, because that's that can be the shortest. So basically, that was the that was the idea here again. Then then when I came up here, uh, I would just put myself there too. Um, if I can, okay, no, not, not like this. like this okay it's easy to see i'm the red so um, here again if i have the plan that okay i will uh, just follow the contours then go down uh, by these cliffs and then to the console all fine i go and 
I'll hopefully and uh, most probably could have uh, executed well. But here I just see that, oh, there's the path. It must be more runnable and it's it must be faster. Can you, can you I'm... turn on just yourself and Casper? Yes. Let's see the comparison of uh, the... And the right one is uh, somewhere. I wanted to see at which point in time, is there a point in time when uh, you started to lose to Casper? So the first one is over here when you take, uh, because you were very close, right? Before, before yeah. this, this, this. And this then play. here, it seems that he knows that he wants to get to this altitude, right. to this, uh, uh, the curvature of the, of the so path. It doesn't go up anymore. No, it doesn't go up because he knows that it's pointless because then he should come down. Yeah. So basically, he's just in control uh, of the lag and what he does, and me not really. Um, and so, yeah, it's easy to see here that he just got far ahead. Then I come down, and he is already far, far ahead of me. And uh, again, I lose some time here because uh, I'm just coming and... Uh, for for just a little, I was unsure, uh, like if I have already passed the the big wally, and so there will be the contest. I was a little coming this way to see if there's not, but then I've seen that yeah, it's on the other one, so just went back for it. But really, uh, again, no plan, uh, the, at all, all the way. Okay, so basically, the same thing that uh, happened before. So you didn't have the plan. Uh, therefore, the execution was poor because you were making it up on the way, and therefore also a lack of confidence was slowing you down probably. And micro bad micro root choices along the way, right? Because of the lack of the plan. So basically, root choice, <laughs> root choice yes, is yes. I mean, plan and root choice. Yes, exactly. It's all coming back to the same thing over and over. Yeah, and we will see no difference, and we will meet no, uh, no different uh, different thing at all, all the way. It, it's always the same. And it's frustrating because, you know, the issue is there, and I know about it, and still, uh, I, I just find it hard to tackle. Yeah, but we'll work on it for sure, already in process, uh, as we are discussing these uh, things here. Next control. Yep, and next now. one. I'm unsure uh, that uh, about this one. Actually, I think I will just put the others back as well to yeah, see. Yeah, let's see it. Uh, how are the? Okay, this is interesting. Let's see. And put the variance. Uh, I think actually I checked. Okay, it's loading. Yes. So I checked it before and it didn't seem uh that much of a difference, right? Between those two. Yeah, yeah. So coming down to this volley uh or just running around and down. Um I think it's quite close. Maybe uh here actually, yeah, because these uh, volleys are really, really shallow and they are like climbing, but so little. Uh, still, if you came down here, then you again had to climb up like maybe ten meters. Mm -hmm. Maybe you do it here as well. Yeah, but so, I, I think that I think it it's like the difference is fifteen seconds, like fourteen seconds between the best guy at the top and the best guy in the middle. Um, and looking at the best guy at the top being Matthias, who um, is really fast in in the, in the group of elite runners, maybe the fastest right now. I would say that it looks simply comparable, those two root choices. Yes. Also, I would add that actually, like Antonio Hansen, who is running down here, and he is actually ahead of Matthias. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, here, I think here it just, yeah, it's uh, probably Anton, oppa, sorry, uh, just uh, was checking the map. Yeah, slowing uh, down at the approach of the control. So I think it starts here, yeah, and just to make sure that he goes up to the right place and there, well, actually, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matthias gets ahead. So quite the same, I would say. Um, in terms of, like, giving the opportunity to, like, plan ahead, 
Um, maybe staying up because you're already on the you're already on the this uh, road, which just helps you. Like it is, it's a really long way if you uh, come down from the from the asphalt. You have like four 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 hundred meters to just run on the road, and that's also like a longer distance. And you know you don't have to check like where are you going because you're just running on the road. And here you a little bit like lose this uh, this time or like chance to do it so because you like have to come down to the volley. Yeah, but but um, you still get quite a lot of map time, right? I mean, I mean first you're running yeah. an asphalt and a, and, a, and a hard path before you leave it. So that already gives you a lot of opportunity. Then you climb uh, down into this valley and then down in the valley you get the, uh, you get the path and you can read for at least 100, 200 meters. Then you have to turn right following another valley. Again, you can read the map because there's nowhere else to go until the, yeah. the, the valley opens right on sp or splits. So I think that both of them actually give lots of opportunities to read the map. Yeah. Um, well, in my case here, uh, I think I was not doing that bad. Uh, like seven minutes, seven seconds behind uh, Antonio Hanson. Yeah. I knew actually here at the control, at the eighth control, finally I knew that, okay, how I will go. And basically that's what happened. I knew that I will come this way. Uh, we'll, go, we'll come down to the volley. Um, the fence we have, there's the road going up, going down. And basically rocks will be uh, attack points. And so, and actually I would say that this time, uh, like this, this split of mind represents like, how it should go or would go if I just always have the plan ahead and I I have the have it in mind and and I just commit and then stick to it. Like a proper a proper split time on this leg. Exactly. Yes. All right, let's move to number 10. Number 10. Mm. Not a long one, but an interesting one nevertheless. Yeah, I will put I think again let's see like because there were there it's interesting that uh, uh to compare how like people went up and around okay let's see variants yeah i will just also add myself to see yeah so yeah here we can see that going absolutely around uh, totally not uh, did not worth it because actually you know you want to avoid the climb uh, what awaits for you here uh, if you come down to the wall yeah you will have to climb up yep. or like you going straight going through the to the to this uh, ridge you also have to climb sure but what you do here is again your control point is here it's like one two three four five six seven you take kind of quite much of a climb, like 30, 30, 35 meters. Yeah, you have to do and, it anyway. And yeah, it's just much, much longer um, than just coming down. And also uh, here, it was just not worth it. It would be interesting to compare uh, Eric Dola here to Milos Nikodim um, because I think he the most of the time he lost it was just that he came this way i guess that he won, just wanted to maybe even go a little bit more around yeah but yeah, also yeah. made a decision to know it's too long and then came down and uh, climbed up again um, no no i i think the track is a little bit skewed and i think he went all the way to the bottom of the valley so where you see him turning around that's oh, the bottom of the valley okay. yeah yeah possibly then surrounding these rocks and coming up yeah yeah, yeah and right. the path, yes uh you're right and yeah Going from the down, um, yeah, it's just. I guess that uh, what he wanted to do is to avoid uh, this steep downhill, because it can be like you can also stuck in stuck up on uh, a cliff because it's like too high, and then yes. you are just trying to look for a space, a space to go down, um, and you know the edge of these. Uh, this uh, the row of cliffs. It might be a look like a safer route choice, because um, for sure, for sure, you will be able to easily come down from it. But then, I guess it wouldn't have been that uh, much uh, uh, worse if uh, just 
coming up from here already. Yeah, and I, yeah I think you simply go too low. Yeah, yeah. You, just... you lose you lose too much height. You have to climb back up anyway, and you also go far away from the line. That that's why it doesn't make that much sense. Because if you look at the control, like imagine that you're going along the line, right? And the last hill before the control, um, how much higher above the control are you? So it's like what six contours? Like thirty meters, yeah. Yeah, this is about six six contours. So it's it's not that high, right? So if you compare this to the distance that you have to cover to go away from the line, uh, that's why it feels like going away from the line is maybe a little bit uh, too much, especially since you are still going down and you have to climb back up to the control anyway. Yeah. Um, and also, I think it's just just much harder to i don't i guess he was running uh maybe from here on the road or on the track so yeah the rock helps so it's not i think so too yeah not hard to not hard to get to the control but uh from from up uh either from where as uh matthias did uh coming from the up yes he comes down to the volley and it's easy entrance to the to the control or uh for for me just yeah, having this line, it's kind of the cliffs are just guiding to the control, giving exactly. keeping some compass and there. It's it's yeah. Easy I mean, to... the approach the control was easy from all directions. Really, it wasn't a difficult one. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, by, by the time like checking if uh, it was worth to climb up and down and or just stay down and uh, approach it from there, uh, I would say that uh, I've. What I was doing it was uh, at least for me the right choice because maybe Ma Matthias uh, with his Swiss legs can just jump up on this uh, on this uh, massive steep uh, hill, uh, but uh, I think it would have uh, caused uh, caused a much uh, much uh, much bigger obstacle for me. So sure. that's also why I just went around. Sure, and the uh, the time difference between you and Thomas Krivda, for example. Is it? Uh, do you feel like it's because of the running speed between you guys? Um, I feel. I think I will just uh, take the others out and let's see how we compare. Um, yeah. So here, what I can actually see and also tell is that uh, when we got to the control. Uh, Again, I was still a little unsure, like how I will execute this uh, lag, and then I checked that okay, there's no way I go around. There's no good, there's no way that uh, it's like worth to do this, uh, like trying to save uh, save uh, contours and climb. So, but again, I just started to move away from the control, and basically this part was here walking and checking how I will go. So I was, I had so much time to to check. The next leg, right. uh, on the, we need to talk about it. It's like minutes to to check how I will do even just the next leg, and when I got here, I again still had to. I didn't have to, but what I did was checking again how I will go to this control. Yeah. Okay. So I was losing time already. Just just coming out from the control. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, I think I think another thing that Thomas did better was he went immediately to the left side of the line. Because he knew yeah. he's going to go from the left side, and you did like an S curve, which is always yeah, a little yeah, bit of yeah. a loss. Yeah, also in yeah in distance. So yes. All right. Cool. Eleventh is an interesting one as well. I will put again the others too. Um... Many, many interesting legs during yeah, it's, this yeah, long distance. Really like fun. so many different route choices available on, on, on all of those uh i can't really understand it feels a little bit like a sprint distance to me <laughs> because of these, like of this variety of, of route choices oh yeah it's like so 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 many of them really like how they uh like, <laughs> like you know it, this is now the the variance version and the, like six or seven yeah <laughs> It's, it's crazy um yeah uh, anyways um here what we can see is that uh i, could, I will take just three four out uh yeah okay now it looks much better um 
So what what um, Matthias does here is uh, he just goes around the first volley, mm -hmm. um, and then he just goes straight through this other one. Yeah, and then he wins the leg clearly. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, it's like five seconds to uh, to Gustav. Um, so if you were coming from the left and how how um, Gustav did was the right version because what I also messed up here uh, is was the same that uh, as uh, Loic Caban he we were just running all the way on the road and then climbed up really really steep uh, between these rocks right and it was really slippery and it was really tough and it was really hard to get up and uh, uh, Gustav, in the meantime, he just gradually take up on the climb already from the junction of the road. Yeah. And yeah. I, thanks to this, he was probably able to run all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was running and uh, and just basically moving, moving to the control. Uh, in the meantime, we were just you know really trying our try, tiring ourselves uh, on this uh, on this climb here. Um, I don't know. I mean, clearly it's. It's a, it's it's a good one, the, possibly the best one to go through. Um, but for me, at least, this uh, this volley just scared me really. Like mm -hmm. it was like green too, and there are these cliffs in it, and they are very close to each other. I'm not yep. sure if it's possible to go through. It's ra it was raining a lot, so that was the reason I rather went from the down. At least it was uh, not green, uh, and. Also, I just felt that okay, I can just use use this road to finally stretch my legs out a little. Um, yeah. So, so again, you had to also uh, talking about these uh, northern route choices, um, not not really worth it because you know it gives the fake um, like comfort. Uh, or like that that you assume that if you go higher or like you surround the the volley higher uh, or like in this case like the northern uh, of the straight then you will save climb but in the meantime the volleys are just so shallow and basically they like don't really um they are flat more or less right at the yeah, bottom yeah, yeah indeed. so basically it doesn't matter where you go through it because you will have to climb up the same amount of uh meters so but again but here just uh, losing a lot of distance 600 uh, nine for 649 compared to 565 it's like uh, almost 100 meters yeah so um, and basically it goes through green one or green two and again like that's really not really uh achieving with that yeah so you, you know even though matthias clearly won this one and so you know maybe this was this was the best route choice i kind of feel like when you're picking the route choices one of the things you're also doing is managing risks Right, and yep. um, as you said, when when I look at the route choice that Matthias took, it looks like it's more risky than the one that was taken by Gustav, because yes. Matthias has to go through this green area, and it's not light green, right? It's it's it's, it's middle green, uh, so I would assume that there is a possibility that you're going to lose time over there. So it is closer to the line. Uh, it's in terms of contours you have to cover. It's probably even better because there there might be less climb that you actually have to do or or at least comparable right so it looks decent but because of this green area it carries a little bit of a risk and if you go down you get more road time right so you you run a little bit longer on the road because going through the top you 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 don't run on the on a path almost almost at all uh, unless you surround the first the first valley on, on on the path so i would have taken the bottom one also uh, so congrats to Matthias for taking the risk over here and winning the split. Yeah. Um, here was actually the moment when this was the refreshment control. I planned to take my energy first energy gel at this point. And when I uh, reached for it, I have uh, realized that uh, it like popped out. I guess when I was going down through some uh, really steep uh, downhill, I just... Uh, slide it on I, mean, I don't know it just pulled out so basically i did not have the energy gel here uh, um and uh it actually a little bit um it like shaked me out from you know that i felt 
okay at this uh, point of the race that okay it's going pretty all right like uh, nothing major issues uh, were recorded at least at that point um like i was like not, not aware of the like wrong route choices let's say uh and hesitations like how much time did i actually lose so here i felt like oh, pretty okay and then okay it's just ruined i don't i don't have my energy gel and then yeah i just decided to take the take the other one like a little later on the course because um i knew that if i just take it now and i have the spike like let's say power spike for the middle of the course then the end will be uh less just just terrible yeah. so yeah anyways uh, moving on to sec uh, uh, 12. yeah so this actually before you move to the next one i think this is a good moment to end the video so we will continue going through the analysis but i also don't want the video to be super long uh, all right so so we will probably cut it here and i think this was already quite a big portion of uh, information regarding how you and other best runners in the world are tackling these uh, interesting very interesting route choices in a Czech terrain. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, remember that you can always subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. Uh, me or, or, or Ferry are happy to chip in and answer those. Thank you so much. Always, always. Thank you, Dominic, for having me.